Uh, my name is Ron Hofnagel. I'm a Naval Academy graduate. I studied mechanical engineering. Did, served about eight years in the Navy. Worked in medical device design for about 15 years, and I've been teaching for this is my second year. I decided on um, uh, submarining coming out of the Naval Academy actually because I was unable to fly planes. My eyes went bad my junior year of school and um, submarining was a chance to use my mechanical engineering degree just about every day and also it was a really good good fun job in the Navy. I found out enough about that before I graduated to choose that. Um, my favorite part of being in the Navy was that it's something different just about every day. We joke that submarining is a lifetime of boredom punctuated by seconds of sheer terror. Um, I, I saw some of the boredom. There are some awfully quiet days, but most days you're doing something different every day. I moved out here about five years ago, and um, I knew I would have. I had been working in medical device design for about 15 years. I knew I was going to have to change jobs because there just aren't medical device companies out here, and I was really ready to change jobs. I um, hit the job that I wanted when I went into medical device manufacturing. I, I, reached the spot that I wanted to be working. Um, I was enjoying it, but there was a lot I didn't like about it. And I thought long and hard about what I really wanted out of my job, what I really wanted out of life, and decided that teaching gave me what I wanted, and shed most of the things I didn't like. Um, and that made me go after teaching, and I really enjoyed it since then. I, I teach um, uh, honors pre-calculus, um, which my goal is to get students ready for calculus next year. That's, that's all we try to do is hit the things that they will need to know for calculus next year. Math for Daily Living is a, a, a class I treat as a personal finance class. We cover things like budgeting, um, credit cards, uh, stock purchases and sales, taxes, the, the real life things that show up for people after they're out of high school, after they're out of college. And then the third class I teach is computer integrated manufacturing. Um, we teach C machining, um, we do some uh, prototyping, rapid prototyping work. Um, it's a, a good sense of what you would do in, uh, as a manufacturing engineer, a fair bit as maybe a designer prototyping engineer as well. I, I coached the FTC team, it was the first time we had one. Um, it's kind of a subsidiary of the FRC team. It's a smaller robot and a little bit um, smaller competition. Uh, many more teams involved. It's easier to get into FTC because of cost than it is for FRC. Our, our team started in about September. We went through till February. Uh, we did make it to the state competition. Very successful team. We had an awful lot of fun and learned a lot. When a student asks me, when am I going to use this in the real world, I can give them examples, you know, that my, my typical counter to that is which part of the real world do you want to talk about? Because I can give them real world um, heavy equipment, uh, nuclear propulsion, electricity, um, I can also do finance, I can do medical, um, you name it, I can take anything we teach just about and apply it to something in the real world. The most fun I have with it is when a student tells me they can't do something and I can help convince them that yes, they can, and, and they did it. Um, I, I also get a lot of days where even the bad days, there's something to laugh about and enjoy as the day goes.